Hey guys, Sean T. Phillips here on the brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday. Sean I'm here today. Taking a glass station, these came out, these things are on sale. Now these glasses are so screwed up, I keep on they're all like like this but i'm actually using a new camera today i finally updated it you know and got the new um you know upgraded and got the new iphone the iphone 13 this bad, bad sunglasses really screwed up but i finally upgraded now so because i've been having so many problems with the old phone overheating all this kind of stuff it was like non-stop like nonsense with the with, with the old phone it was like driving me crazy this one though when i got it they like didn't activate it when i left when i left the store and they're like oh you just go home and do it it's easy and nothing worked and it turns out they like forgot to put the sim card in the phone or something they had to go back the next day it was like, oh my god it was some craziness about the phone but today though you know um you know new release wise some of the bigger things that were coming out today now i'm blanking on i don't want to blank on everything that was coming out today and then th i keep on messing up the, t the title of this i think it's last night in soho i don't think it's either is either last night or late night in Soho. I'm messing up the title for that one, but that one comes out today as well as uh, Adam's Family 2. That releases today. Also, though, at the end of this video is going to be a bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews. It's like sort of Daniel Harris's eye got a lot of uh, Blu-ray, DVD, and 4K reviews at the end of this video. It, these are bad. These are going to have to get chucked at the end of this video. And as always, too, like, let me know what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks that are reviewed. You guys have seen them, what you guys thought of them. But anyway, there, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. So we're taking a look here in the front and here, and I don't see anything new, any of the, you know, this week's new releases. It, it ne you never know with them when it comes to putting out the new stuff. As I remember last Tuesday, this location didn't like change out anything. So like nothing new was put out at all. I almost didn't come here today, but I'm so OCD about like always having to go to Target, Walmart, and Best Buy for the videos. So I still did it anyway. But I won't lie, I almost didn't. Let's see though, um, you know, if they have anything out there on the actual sex. And like I said, last Tuesday they didn't. So fingers crossed, hopefully they do have something out though. Well, we shall see though. Yeah, so in there though, in the actual section though, they did have out the, um, that, um, I keep, like I said, I keep messing it up. Is it la last night in Soho? Or I think it's last night in Soho. They did have that one out on the shelf in there. And I did see the spot for Adam's Family too, but it wasn't out you know, put out or anything like that. But we're going to head over to this Walmart over here, which, you know, usually has been the one that never has things out. But surprisingly, last Tuesday, like for the first time in forever, they had like, you know, for the first time in forever, you know, but they actually, I'm a little bit loopy. I'm so much in my head right now planning for this uh, Woods Witch movie because I start shooting on Thursday. So I'm like back and forth about like everything you can imagine right now, detail wise, location wise, schedule wise testing wise if you know what i'm talking about within the world all of that so it's just oh my god but we're gonna head over to um you know to walmart like i said this one last tuesday had stuff out so we shall see though if it does uh we're still gonna go to the one other one as well to, to you know today so we will see though fingers crossed into walmart we go yeah, but taking a look over here, there's actually quite a few different things out today. And they, luckily enough, they have the things out. Like like I was saying, the big thing today was the Addams Family. And they have like the uh, two, and they have the two movie collection here. The DVD one for $24.96. Uh, the Blu-ray uh, is $22.96. And then $17.96 if you just want the first movie. So that's not a bad price to get both of them together. Uh, and this one came out today. I don't know anything about this movie with Heather Graham, Sam Worthington here. Yeah, it's like a Western film. If you guys have seen this one, like when it comes to Westerns, there's like some that I like and some that I really don't. It all depends. The one Brimstone, which was a Dakota Fanning one, was sort of a Western. That one I like, absolutely love that movie. That was like an amazing film. If you've seen this one though, let me know if this is worth picking up. It's $14.96 for the um, Blu-ray, $12.96 for the DVD. Uh, this is another one that came out today, this Red Stone here. I always think of, um, is it Neil McDuff from, was he from? Ravenous, I believe. I don't know if maybe he just looks like the guy from Ravenous. But let's see. That one is uh, $14.96 for the Blu-ray, $12.96 for the DVD. And they do have Last Night in Soho for $22.90, um, you know, six for the um, for the Blu-ray, and then $17.96 for the DVD of that one. So let's see, too. I saw some other stuff over here today as well. Like, um, this is one of the things that came out. It's only $12.96. It's a really good price for this one. This is the third Candyman film, Candyman uh, Day of the Dead. So that's really cool uh, for $12.96 for that one. And I believe this was today as well, this one called Planet Dune. I believe this one came out today. Uh, and that's like a one from Asylum. And then this one called with Eric Bana. And I always want to say Eric Banana. I don't know why. <laughs> I always say that. That one's $9.96. 
Let's see, I'm seeing a couple other things. There's some interesting stuff down here too. I, I was looking at like this one called The Awakener and there's an anime here, which is like Tower of God Blu-ray. I don't know if it's like a first season or it's, um, I don't know what's if it's like a, if it's a movie or not. There's one here called Alpha Rift, some movie with Lance Henderson. A lot of stuff today. And there's um, this one's not out. Rock and Hunter. This one, a uh, un, uh, un, un, unquiet grave. I not know this one. Coming to their sister, form a strange ritual. This one looks kind of interesting as well. If you guys have seen that, the one I'm looking at though is this one down here. This one called in infrared. In is it infrared for dreams? This is interesting looking here. This Tintus of Future, Captain Woman Ergo, Psychological Emotional Testing. I don't know. This one's kind of interesting looking. I like this cover. It looks very 70s and stuff. I, almost like um, Ty West, like House of the Devil or something kind of look. Very cool for to see a cover like this in Walmart. You don't usually see that kind of a cover. If you've seen this, though, let me know if this is worth buying or not. Uh, this one here is today, too. The um, the Ripper, the Untold Story. Uh, this one released today uh, for $9.96. It's funny. They're letting some bloody covers in here now. They used to be very, you know, finicky about covers and stuff. Uh, and then they have uh, The Haunting of the Hythe House here. This one that came out today. This is kind of interesting looking here too. It's like, oh. And then there's this one. I'm gonna talk about this at the end of this video. And this is seriously gory. This is probably the goriest thing that Walmart has carried I've seen in a long time. This last of the grads, like they definitely don't know with this one. This is, I mean, trauma level like intense. I'm really surprised they picked that up, but it's cool they did because it is, crazy movie like with the gore other than that though i don't see anything else different in here uh, as far as i can tell i'm trying to peek through to see if there's anything else but no i don't see anything else as far as i can tell you know mixed in here or anything but yeah since you know luckily enough they had out all the um the new stuff in there today they're pretty, for, pretty much for the most part everything was out luckily enough that guy I almost think that the guy that's stalking here, I might be crazy, but I think the guy that's stalking used to be in another location maybe, or he was away or something and he came back because lately they've been doing a really good job with having the stuff out and he's trying to get it out because before that this location was never having things put out at all. So I don't think I have to go to the other one, but so we're just going to head to um, Best Buy now. Like I said, my mind is just like, oh, thinking about so many things, <laughs> you know what I mean? At the same time, so it's just like anytime right before I start to shoot. I always just have so many things I'm thinking about, planning, and all kind of things. But yeah, so we're going to head to the, um, the Best Buy now. Into Best Buy we go. So we're going to take a look over here at the new stuff. And I see quite a few different things over here. I don't see anything exclusive for Last Night in Soho. I don't think there was any exclusives. But that one, I should have a review of this one soon. There should be a review copy for this, I believe. If not, I'm definitely going to pick it up because I definitely really, really want to watch this one. But it's uh, $24.99 for the Blu-ray, $29.99 for the 4K. And then Adam's Family 2 here, that one's $24.99. Uh, there was something here called like withering with you or something 4k i don't know what that one was if that was an anime uh but this is one of the other ones that was an exclusive uh, best buy exclusive I and mean, i have a, also a closer look at this one at the end of this video and it's the wrecking for a, a dream a 4k steelbook this is an example of a movie that's like an absolutely amazing movie but i i can't watch it again it's just too depressing it's just too sad i can't it's one of those things i just can't emotionally deal with that movie um but other than that though it's just too 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 downer it's too much of a Downer. other than that though let's see right over here anything else different here there should be some other things like what is this a venom these ones aren't out uh, these ones are sold but was there other things today too i feel like there was so, should be something else mixed in down here let's see just trying to make sure i don't miss over anything here but no i'm oh no here's here's a couple other things here uh akira 4k was this one today this one might have come out today or it might be a different like re-release of it in a different edition but it's only $19.99 for the 4K. That's a really good price for that. Uh, and then uh, Redstone, that one I showed in Walmart. It's got a funny, like, cheap cover on the back. Like, the, the definition on... I always talk about this one. Like, the photos have, like, a bad, cheap, crappy definition. And they do. They're, like, a, like really bad-looking pictures in the back. <laughs> it's like, why do they look so bad like that? See, like, especially the top one. They're real different and not color-corrected right or anything. But that's $14.99 for that one. Some, some stuff is very half-assed. We have to be honest. Uh, 
Uh, one of the other ones, uh, the Dry came out. Um, that one is twelve ninety nine. And this one, I'm really interested in this. If you guys have watched this one, uh, let me know if this is worth getting or not. I like literally don't know anything at all about this. It looks sort of interesting though. It's fourteen ninety nine for that one, The Last Sun. Uh, other than that though, they I, they had this already, the Krampus one. Um, let's see over here. They've now been starting to have Signs of the Lambs in here because for a while this location didn't, and now the ones out here did. But other than that, though, I don't see anything else uh, different here, though, as far as I can tell, though. So anyway, little guys, that was off my DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Like I always say, guys, if you enjoyed these shopping videos, definitely give us a thumbs up. Also, though, in the comments below, though, let me know, you know, anything new that you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K. Here's these bad sunglasses again. If you guys picked up anything new today, also let me know anything new that you guys have been watching on streaming or any new things that you guys seen in theaters. And also let me know if you saw uh, the new screen, what you guys thought of it. Don't have any, no spoilers or anything down there because I won't be seeing it till it's on Blu-ray because I just, I can't go to the movies anymore too, especially with doing these films and stuff. I just have to be so careful, especially now. Like, it's like, I'm, I'm just, it's just a lot I'm thinking about with this one. So we have so many, if you guys look at the cast, we just have so many people in this one uh, and a lot of big names and stuff. So I'm just trying to be as careful as I can uh, and everything right now. Uh, let's just say I've been scrambling to get lots of extra tests and stuff just to have them for safety and everything. But um, but anyway, though, guys, uh, like I said, like I said, let me know what you guys picked up today. If you guys ended up picking up anything new. Also, let me know, like I said, what you guys saw the DVDs, blurs, and 4Ks that I reviewed at the end of this video. Thanks again for watching, subscribing. I'll see you guys later. Bye. And the first ones I got here are from Lionsgate, and these ones both here are both uh, Best Buy exclusive steelbook releases. These are some really, really cool steelbooks here. And the first one, though, and this is a movie which I only ever watched this once. This movie came out in 2000. You know, I watched this one, uh, I think, when it you know, came out to DVD back in the day. And this is one of those movies, I absolutely love this movie, but like I said, I watched this once. Because out of anything I've ever watched in my life, you know, films or anything, I don't think... There was ever a movie that I cried to worse than this movie. This, it wasn't just like, oh, oh, some tears or something like that. This was absolute, total, like, like total, like the worst crying you could ever do, ever. And it's like, you got to be in the right frame of mind to watch this movie. It is just very gloom, doom sad, you know, everything you can imagine about the pressing, pressing is this movie, but it is an amazing movie. It is so well done. The music is great. It's a, you know, it's a great film, uh, but it's just about addiction and all sorts of things, the spiral, like basically about people's lives firing out of control. It's amazing acting, but it is hard to watch. <laughs> I mean, it's a movie here. Also the best performance ever for Marlon Wayans. Like Marlon Wayans is amazing in this movie and I wish he got to do more drama stuff. But this is the, you know, Requiem for a Dream here. Like I said, this is the uh, Best Buy exclusive uh, steelbook for this one. I put the sticker on here just to show that it's the Best Buy exclusive one for this one. I'm going to show you guys, though, a look inside, you know, look at the steelbook here. And I like, too, how they do these with the slip covers on them. So they come off like this and, the, you know, the image, like, connects to the, you know, to the steelbook underneath. And here's a look, though, inside here at the discs. And I'll take the discs out, too, so you can see behind the um, them as well. But here's a look, though. Let's see. Sometimes it's hard. To, here we go. So here's a look behind the discs here. But like I said, if you guys have never seen this movie, it is definitely worth watching. But it is, a, like I said, it's just a hard, hard watch. It's very sad. Uh, like I said, I never cried so much. I don't really watch, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, sometimes you're just not in the right frame of mind to watch a lot of drama stuff. So currently now I'm not really watching a lot of drama stuff. I've just got too much other stuff going on to watch depressing stuff. Uh, but the next one here, this is from Lionsgate as well. And this is another steelbook here. This is a Best Buy exclusive steelbook as well. And this is a film, uh, The Punisher, here. What's funny with these ones was, I'm kind of crazy. I kind of like the um, the sequel a little bit better to this. And I don't know why. I, it's, it's not like a better movie, but like, something about that, the sequel, I liked it because it it felt like almost like the start of like doing like real graphic novel-y, violent -y kind of, you know... Um, I don't know, it just felt like the violent, like, kind of the shift over, shift over to more of the, like, Deadpool-ish kind of stuff. Even before, it was before Deadpool, but it was, like, going in that kind of a direction even more so than this one did, I thought. But this one, like I said, and also, too, if I didn't say these are both the 4K editions as well, but I'm going to show you guys, though, a look inside here, too, at the, um, the slipcover on this one. So here's how it looks, how it comes off here. And then here's a look, though, at the back, you know, uh, as well for this one. And then here's a look, though, inside. And then here is the disc. I'll take the discs out, too, so you can see behind 
And then you see, here's a look inside here, but a really, really cool steelbook for this one here. Like I said, just want you guys know that these ones were available um, as Best Buy exclusive uh, steelbooks for these ones. And the next one here, this is one I was really excited to let you guys know about, because uh, this one stars a really good friend of mine who's been in uh, some of the films that I've made. Uh, he was in Screen Bloody Murder. Uh, he was in uh, Amityville Karen. And then um, we've also acted together in a bunch of different projects as well. But this is a movie here, which is directed by Thomas Churchill. And this is Amityville Uprising. Like I said, and here's Mike Ferguson here. He uses the name Michael Ferguson in this one for the credit. But he, Mike, I was just so happy to see him on the cover. Like, it's just, to, to me, he's a very nice guy. You know, I I had some one project, like, there's some weird experiences on. He's, like, helped me through stuff. I don't know. Somebody that I always helped me in a lot of ways and um, just was very, so happy for him to, you know, to have made it on the cover of this and to be in this film. He did a great job in the movie. And also... A handful of other people in here that I know, like Kelly Lynn Ryder, who is in Scream Bloody Murder, and we're getting re get ready to work together on um, Woods Witch, which I start shooting in a couple days. Uh, but basically, though, the movie is basically about, you know, set in Amityville, and it's all kind of like on like an Assault on 13th Precinct movie, where it's all inside of like a police station. I always kind of like those movies where it's like one location films. I don't know. I always like that kind of stuff. And essentially though, it's about like, there's like this acid rain that's coming down. Something has caused this acid rain. And it's essentially, if it gets onto you, it basically mutates you and turns you into like these zombies. And you know, it's basically the people who are in the police station, like the cops, a couple people who are arrested in there, a woman in there who's trying to like pay a parking ticket or something. And basically though, they're all trapped in there while like the zombies are outside and stuff like that you know from the acid rain but i thought i liked this i thought it was a really fun movie like i said really glad to see mike ferguson in here and really like i said i love like walking to walmart and seeing him on the cover it's just like really cool to see uh and then the next one here is from uh universal and i didn't actually get to see uh the first of these films i, you know, I lo absolutely love you know the um Adam's Family series, you know, with Raul Julia, the, you know, the the, the um, 90s films and Christina Ricci, Jelga Houston, like those movies are some of my, my favorite movies ever, like especially like childhood films, like I remember those so well. And I also used to watch as a kid, the animated ones, like I had VHS tapes of like the ones, I think they were like in the 60s or 70s, like the like the animated versions of Adam's Family. And this is the Adams Family 2 here. And like I said, I have not seen, I did not see the first movie. I did remember hearing a lot of really good things about it. People were telling me that it was definitely worth checking out. But this one, though, I don't feel like it's like if you haven't seen the first one, you wouldn't be able to understand this, especially if you know Adams Family. Because like I said, I watched the movies, I watched the cartoon, I watched the, you know, of course, the live action series. Uh, so basically, everything Adams Family I ever had ever always watched. But basically, though, it's about the Adams Family going on a, you know, trip together. And it's, that's basically what it is it's going on this road trip. And it basically becomes like, uh, there's like a, this one person thinks that Wednesday, it might've been like separated and like mixed up. And it's actually, she's, you know, um, it's not actually their kid. And it's, it's other person comes along and thinks that she's their kid. And it becomes this whole big thing as well. It's a very, very fun movie. And I always like these kind of, you know, road trip kind of movies and stuff like that. And this one has on here feature wise, uh, we, um, we're all together, Adams, and, um, courage be kooky and the Adams family road ticket checklist, uh, featurettes on this one. The next one here, this is from um, RLJ Entertainment, uh, and this is a movie here which stars Eric Bana called The Dry, and this is a really good, like, you know, kind of like character piece drama film. It's basically one of those kind of movies, too, about somebody who's going back. You know, you know that something had happened. It's basically like, too, there's like, this, this deals with like flashbacks and stuff, too, at points. It's essentially, though, Eric Bana's character is coming back in the town for a funeral of his friend, and it's basically like the friend, like, you know, uh, basically, though, you know, basically his friend, you know, killed his family and it's this whole thing that had happened and it's kind of like, or it's, it's perceived that he did. And it's basically though, he's come, he comes into town. They want him to kind of investigate and to get to the bottom of the whole thing. But then there was like a lot of stuff in the past, like I said, that dealt with flashbacks, that dealt with this guy and like something had happened with his friend before. And it's like, could this have a connection or could there be somebody like in the past that was behind all of this? It's an interesting movie though. Like I said, it's one of those character piece movies. It's kind of trying to get to the bottom of things in the past this one has on here though a bunch of featurettes on the film here uh as well the next one's here these ones are all from um mill creek uh and there's some really cool ones here and this one i really liked i can't remember what the name of the guy was but my brother was like telling me there's like a youtuber in here that he was a big fan of that was acting in this i, I, I totally i'm blanking on his name but he plays one of the cops in here uh he was like the best character in the movie and this movie too this you know uh not the greatest movie of all time or anything but 
It had some of the best gore that I've seen in a long time. I don't know who did the effects on here. It was like Talon FX, but I, 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 was, I thought at one point it might have, because I think it was filmed in Florida. I was thinking, was it Marcus Cook doing it? Because he does a lot of Florida effects and stuff. But this was the gore. It's a movie here, though, called The Last of the Grads. And like I said, it is super gory. I mean, it is, there is some old school, like 80s throwback deaths and stuff in this movie. It's basically, though, it, it kind of had weird editing in the beginning. I don't know what was going on with the first, like, six minutes. The movie had two editors, and I don't know if, like, they're taking... I don't know. There's just something peculiar about the first, like, three or four minutes of this movie, like, with the editing, and then everything else was fine. It was, like, sort of just sort of, like, I don't know, just something about that first opening was peculiar. But basically, though, it's it's basically, though, about some killer from the past that's coming after these kids that are going on like a lock-in in school. It's kind of like the movie too that um, Ryan Nicholson did called Famine. It's a little bit like that movie, honestly. But um, that's basically, you know, what it is. It's, it's like for a lock-in kind of thing and they're getting killed. But I, I liked it. it. It runs a little long though. Like when it comes to slasher films though, because it's an hour and 53 minutes, I honestly think just from experience too that you kind of got to keep them at like an hour and like 35 minutes or so because it can run on a little bit and this does run on a little bit like there's it's one of those things where I feel like they didn't want to cut a lot of stuff and it's like I don't know that's the only thing but there was a lot like I said really really good gore and stuff like that in this one though like for gore effects some of the most like probably some of the best stuff I've seen in a while and in like an indie film I was very impressed with the stuff in this though. And the next ones I got here are from Mill Creek as well. And these are some collection sets I want to let you guys know were available. And this one here, this is called the Zombie Collection. This has three different movies. No, this has, sorry, four different movies. This has Attack of the Lederhosen Zombies, Granny of the Dead, Attack of the Killer Donuts, and Howard's Gone Stiff. I remember, I know I saw, I think I might have actually reviewed throughout the years all of these ones. I think Attack of the Killer Donuts, is, as far as I remember though, I might be wrong. I think that one originally wasn't available in the U.S., and I think I had like a, um, I might be wrong about this, but I feel like I had like a German Blu-ray or something of that movie, and it never came out in America, and I think that was, um, I can't remember who put this one out. I know I reviewed Granny of the Dead, and Lederhosen Zombies was pretty cool. I think it was people going to like, um, was it, I can't remember what happened. I, I, know, I guess I know I've seen these ones, though. I know I, know I have, though. Uh, the other ones here, these are two um, sets as well. And this, these are 12 movie, no, so one's 12 and one's 11 movies. And this one's Through the Decades, 12 film uh, collection here. And this one has a bunch of stuff on here. The, the best, um, let me, so let's see what's on this one. I know on the other one, the best one I want to let you guys know about. Um, but on this one, this has Who Was That Lady? The Notorious Landlady, Under the Yum Yum Tree, Good Neighbor Sam, Lilith, Baby Rain, Baby the Rain Must Fall, Genghis Kong, Mickey One, The Chase, Love, High Survivor Marriage, and um, Hook, Line, and, and Sinker as well, which is Jerry Lewis one. Here's a look, though, at the back. You can see the, the little posters and everything for them. And then inside, it's a, like I said, this is a 12-movie uh, set. And it's a four-disc uh, set here for this one. And the other one here, this is Through the Decades, and this one is 11 films, and this is Through the Decades, the 70s. And this one has on here, though, the Owl and the Pussycat, A Walk in the Spring Rain, um, Money, uh, the Anderson Tapes, Brother J uh, John, uh, the Horseman, Gun um, Gumshoe, The Last Detail. That's the one on here that I, I love. If you guys have never seen The Last Detail, which is, you know, stars Jack Nicholson and Randy Quaid. It's a movie from 1973. I feel like it's one of those ones that kind of a lot of people, like, don't talk about. And it is an amazing movie. Like, honestly, like, go out and watch that one because I feel like it's one of those things that probably a lot of people have not seen. It also has The Stone Killer, which is a Charles Bronson movie, uh, for Pete's sake, and Fun with Dick and Jane, which was, you know, the uh, original one, you know, since the 70s with George Siegel, Jane Fonda, and Ed McMahon. And I and I, I think I reviewed that one recently. I thought that was actually pretty good. And here's a look, though, inside here. It's, this is a four-disc set as well. The next one's here. These are both from uh, Severn Films. And I will let you guys know these ones are available. This one, I always like this movie. This is a very intense film, though. This is a movie here called Don't Go in the House. And if you guys have never seen this one, this is another one that is definitely a must-watch. It's basically, though, like about this guy that was abused by his mother and she was like burning him and like burning his arms and stuff like that. So he's got this weird thing for like fire and stuff like that. And he's basically like getting these women and like, it's, it's basically like torturing them. And it's, it's, it's a really crazy thing. That's what's going on. It's very hard to explain everything, but it's dealing with like abuse and stuff. And just this, his 
totally cracked up from the abuse and what he's doing and burning these women. And it, it, it is a great movie, but it's very hard. Like I said, it's a hard to watch movie. And this is a two disc set in here and it includes the um, three remastered versions of the film plus new special features. So it has, like I said, it has three versions. So it has the, um, the burning alternate TV cut. So it has the TV version of the film. And then it has the original version of the movie, which is the theatrical cut. That, so the theatrical cut's 83 minutes, the TV cut's 90 minutes, and then the interrogo cut Ter I, I never could say that word right. The one where it's a combination of both. And that, and that one is on 92 minutes. So that's taking, you know, a mixture of the theatrical cut and the TV cut and kind of combining them together. But it has on here, though, a commentary track on here, a bunch of different commentary tracks on here, uh, looking at the locations where it was filmed. It has on here the uh, trailer gallery, image gallery on here. Uh, like I said, a whole bunch of different interviews. Um, don't go on the reel. Uh, don't go, uh, don't trailer reel on here. So a bunch of different trailers for the film as well. And I have the, the one disc in there because it's still in the player and then the other one i want to let you guys know is available is one here called delirium i remember this one back in the day like i remember seeing like the cover to this one really well and this is basically about this guy you know that had come you know from the war and stuff like that and it's kind of like um you know kind of like cracking up and stuff like that it's one of those kind of movies they did a lot of stuff like that around this time about like soldiers or like going crazy and stuff like that or like these like weird motives for things and stuff like that it was a it's a it's a crazy uh brutal movie this one was from 1979 this one has um interview on here with peter morris as well as monster uh, is the man interview on here with the uh, special effects artist on this one here uh as well the next one here these ones are all from Grouch's Ventures and this is a movie here called An Ideal Host and this is basically though about it's one of those kind of ones about you know people kind of like have these kind of dinner parties and there's always like something kind of goes weird about these parties when you have people come together and like certain people don't get along or there's something really weird happens and this one kind of it's one of those kind of things where it kind of goes in these really strange directions. And it's like, it's a common, it, it has like horror aspects to it and science fiction stuff, but it, it just goes in this really weird way and like very unexpected. Like I said, it's one of those things starts off kind of okay and then keeps escalating and get worse and worse as it goes along. Uh, the next one here is one from Garages as well called uh, Old Strangers. And this is basically though about, it's one of those one things about a group of friends who are all going out into the woods. It's like one of those, like, you know, kind of going out to the to the mountains. And it's every time, too, it's one of those things. Go out to the mountains, friends that haven't seen each other a long time. This is also kind of dealing with, like, after what had happened in the world and what's going on in the world now. People coming together again for the first time. That's what this deals with as well. And basically, though, getting out into the woods, it kind of br brings up some kind of problems between them. And it, it becomes this whole thing out there. And it just kind of gets worse and worse. It's another one of those kind of ones. But it was actually was a really pretty good one here called like i said old strangers the other one here from gravitas is one called um Entra Entra entropy i believe that's how you say this one and this one was basically though about this girl who was diagnosed with cancer and her friends basically you know invite her you know over and her girlfriend invites her over for this like dinner party and it becomes this whole thing it's funny with this camera you can see i think i have the backlight up a little bit you can see like the reflection of the phone it's like the newer phone now on it like this so it's like yes <laughs> And then you see me, I don't know, it's just kind of funny. I don't think you saw this before. I think it's because I have the phone's back, I guess the backlight up a little bit more. That's why it does that a little bit. But basically, though, they come together for this, and they, and, you know, for this dinner party, but they have this kind of plan of trying to heal her. And it becomes this weird thing of them trying to, their, you know, reasons for trying to heal her and everything. There's another one I thought was actually a pretty good movie here. Like I said, Entrop Entropy, I think. I think that's right. Uh, the other one here from Groucho's Ventures as well is one called Never Alone. It's like a musical or n the musical Never Alone. Basically, though, uh, it's basically about a group of these theater kids. And it's also another one of these films dealing with what's going on in the world where they're all together in this uh, theater program, you know, music theater program. And basically, though, so because of what's going on, they aren't really able to practice and stuff like that and be together. So it's kind of like social distancing and staying at home and all that kind of stuff. So basically, though, this one teacher, their teacher kind of figures out a way to do it from home and kind of still lets them connect and stuff like that. It's an interesting movie, though. I guess this one here is called Never Alone. And the last one here from Groucho's Ventures is one here called um, The Accursed. I, I, another one, I, th I believe this is saying this right, The Accursed. And then this is basically one, a lot of these ones are about people coming together because this is about during, you know, dealing with the wet a wedding going on and everything and it's one of those other things you know they're coming together for this wedding you know they have not seen this family in a long time it's one of those things too the one person that comes together was like very estranged from their family and have not 
you know, seen them forever and kind of coming together and everything. And then it's it basically like another thing or situation where something from the past is coming back or something really bad had happened. And it kind of becomes this nightmare of a situation at this wedding. It's a really pretty cool, creepy one here as well. Like I said, the accursed. And the last ones here, these are ones I just want you guys to know were available. And these ones are all from Eureka Entertainment. And this one here is one called uh, Le Il Grande Silenzio. I'm, I'm saying this one totally wrong. I, I can guarantee you. But this one here i'll show you guys a little look inside this one has a mini poster you know for um the film here it's like a, it's a two-sided yeah two-sided um poster for the movie here and then it also has some um like, lo like lobby cards and stuff like that for the film and then i'll let you guys know too what's on here uh this one has on here feature wise See, it has a brand new 2K restoration on here. Uh, let's see. It has, a, for the 50th anniversary of the film's re original release, comedy track on here by director and spaghetti uh, western aficionado Alex Cox on here, re recorded at the Hollywood Theater, 2021. Uh, brand new interview on here with Austin Fitcher, author of Radical Frontiers in the Spaghetti Western. Uh, has a 1968 documentary on here on the film. Uh, two alternate endings, theatrical trailer on this one. The other one here, and this is from the Eureka Master the cinema series was this one as well no that one wasn't this is from the master cinema series number 259 the love of my the love of genie here and this one here is you know um uh, restored with the uh, with the score from bernard those on here and also has a collector's booklet in here i'll show you guys a look in here as well the the booklet for this one here's a look at the book uh for this one here uh as well like i said just want you guys to know that these ones were available uh the other one here is from uh eureka entertainment this is one here called uh full alert and this one has on here though a um let's see this has original cantonese audio it has brand new feature length Conte track on here with Asian film expert Frank Dijin. A Conte track on here. Um, was it with the director? And here, with the director, theatrical trailer. And there's also a um, booklet in here as well with that stuff about the production, uh, pictures and stuff like that here uh, as well. And there's two more here from Eureka Entertainment. Uh, one of them is from their other line, I believe. It's, um, let's see, what's, what is it called? It's, um, montage pictures but this is one here uh the other one no this is another from the eureka masters of cinema series this is 258 and this is a champion a film which stars uh, kirk douglas and this one has on here though a, a brand new Conte track by professor and film scholar jason a knee and a still gallery on this one and i'll show you guys though a look inside here uh as well a booklet in here with stuff about the film and stuff and then the last one here like i said this is from eureka entertainment as well but from their montage uh, pictures line and this is a movie here called the sweet thing and this one here you know has um uh i don't think there's any features on this one here but i'll show you guys a little look inside here uh as well for this one here's some pictures and stuff like that about the production anyway though guys like i said um you know if you guys enjoy these dvd uh, blu-ray tuesday shopping videos i definitely give this video a thumbs up thanks again for watching and subscribing and i'll see you guys later bye